Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're doing a six month review of the Bowden Zone Mr. Black. Now with a lot of other trim restorers on the market or different ways to actually restore the faded trim on your Jeep or vehicle, a lot of them only last a couple months, three months, I've seen a lot maybe last six months and then they always just fade back to that dull, crappy looking, faded colour. Now Bowden's Owens Mr. Black hasn't been on the market for that long so there's no Real long term reviews, I think I was one of the first ones to get in the first couple of months that it was actually released. I jumped on it so quick. Um, they do make amazing products, so we're going to do a six month review um, of the faded guards, the bumper, um, and also we did the hard top as well. Now if you guys think back to when we actually did uh, restore the faded guards, here's a bit of a preview um, of what it was before um, and that little corner when we are doing it, and it's a massive difference. So it was a massive difference when we first did it. Now let's see if that has actually held up over time. Now over the last uh, six months, I've been on a few four-wheel driving trips on the beach, um, a lot of mud and dirt and grime. And if you have plastic on your Jeep, you know that mud and dirt just loves to stick to it um, and it's really hard to get off. Um, so I've been four-wheel driving in it, as I said. Um, I do try and keep my Jeep as clean as possible often, so that will reflect um, how long this will last if you're very meticulous and how you do look after your vehicle it will last longer and also how fast you clean your Jeep after you've been forward driving as well. Uh, one of the times I went out it was three days with sand, uh, red dirt which if you guys live in Australia you know that's a colour for uh, plastics or any black or anything at all, red dirt just kills everything um, and we left it on the Jeep, uh, we did a three day trip, we left it on the uh, Jeep um, and well Let's show you the results, they pretty much speak for themselves. Alright, so if you guys remember back to what they were before, um, it's a bit hard to show because it all looks so good. It's not faded, um, it doesn't have any stains or anything like that. There's probably a little bit just here, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, probably like a little stripe just there. Um, and that's really about it. Obviously um, hard parts like the red bumper and stuff that does take a hammering all the time. You can see a little bit of dirt. But that's just, it's not faded, it's just a little bit of dirt. Now it has faded a little bit on the mud flap. Now I think that was due with the way I actually prepped it. Now if you don't know buttons on Mr. Black, in the black box it actually gives you everything you need to be able to prep the surface. So it gives you a little flash prep bottle like so. If you do have a bigger car like the Jeep, what I recommend is actually uh, buying a bigger bottle of that. That way you can properly prep the surface. Um, you can actually see in some spots, like on top of the guard here, uh, where I haven't prepped it so well. Uh, but you can see that it's actually quite hard to see. I don't know if it is coming up on camera or not. But you can actually see a few uh, surfaces or a few areas within that guard that I actually haven't prepped properly. But the whole result, it hasn't faded, it hasn't discolored. Hasn't gone back to the grey. Now with being a four-wheel drive and using it, uh, normally this section here of the guard gets hammered by dirt. We had a nice thick layer of dirt sitting on there um, over those three days, um, and it hasn't stained, hasn't discoloured, especially with that red dirt. Still looks brand new. Um, now I have pressure washed it off, um, and after just a hand wash, it comes up brand new. Hasn't faded, hasn't discoloured. As I said, I'm so happy with this product. Um, so that's six months. Imagine what it's going to be like in a year. I'll probably do another year update uh, to show you guys, um, but overall for the last six months I've been so happy with this product. Hasn't faded or anything. Um, it doesn't have like an oily tinge to it. A lot of products out there have real oil feel to it, um, and that might be a reason why they fade so fast and don't actually last. Um, but as you can see, it still has a nice rich, I can't actually see any spots. Maybe a little bit on the back bumper, uh, where it does get hammered a lot more. Now I do leave my car outside in the sun. Obviously. Um, on the shade when I'm at home, but at work it gets hammered by the sun every single day. Um, I leave it outside as much as possible to try and get um, a better review for you guys. Now also with the hard top, I did the hard top obviously it's a little bit harder to show a before and after, but I did do a video on that. So this is the before, what it was like before, and it was a massive difference. It absolutely changed the colour of the hard top massively. Um, you can see it before. Now same thing again, uh, there's a few dirt marks and stuff where I haven't been able to clean it off, uh, but it hasn't discolored, hasn't faded, anything like that. It still looks pretty much brand new, or as it, if I just did it six months ago. But already have the results of it. Obviously on the hard top, um, it's a little bit harder to clean, so there's a few uh, discoloring 
well not discoloring, but like water spots um, and mud spots that's just harder to clean and get off uh, when you had been forward driving. But really happy with the product. Um, I'll probably do another six month review, so like a year review on how it's holding up. But I haven't redone this, I haven't done it again. This is what it was like six months ago. So it's brand new. So I'd highly recommend using Bowden's own Mr. Black, well worth it. A lot of people use other products and it lasts two months, three months, and you got to keep reapplying it, reapplying it, painting it, whatever it might be. But I highly recommend Bowden's own Mr. Black. And I actually probably use uh, maybe just under half a bottle on my Jeep. That's with the hardtop, all the bumpers, um, and all the flares. So still heaps left, so in a year, two years, whatever it might be, you can go ahead and reapply that. But I recommend getting a bigger bottle of the flash prep. That way you can fully prep that surface. You're not worried about not running out and stuff like that. So the better you do prep it, like painting, the better you prep it, the better the result's going to be. So I recommend that. But overall, I'm really happy. I'd give it a, a solid 10 out of 10. Um, if you guys are interested in this product from Bound Zone, I'll leave a link down in the description if you guys want to check this out. But really happy. Can't fold it at all. Get yourself some balance on Mr. Black and get your guards looking good again. I know it's a, they fade really easily on the Jeeps, but it looks so good. Like, I can't be any happier with it. I don't know what else to say about it. It's amazing. So happy I thought it was going to fade like a lot of other products up there, but they haven't. Um, if you guys are using Sunk House, please let me know in the comments. I'll leave a link for the description of, I'll leave a link in the description from uh, Bound Zone Mr. Black. But if you, guys, if you guys like this video, smash the like button. If you haven't already, smash the subscribe button as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.